We're going to talk to our expert once again. That's Dr. Don Miller, who is the Director of Product Development with Alpharex. And, uh, Don, we kind of continue getting started in the spring planning rates we've talked about, planning depth, and we've got it We've got it planted now. This uh, direct spring seeding, it's in. Is that it? Just wait for it to grow? Or there's some other management tips that you can pass along that we should be uh, adhering to now in the springtime? Absolutely. I, I think once that seed starts to uh, emerge uh, out of the soil, you need to monitor for weeds. Uh, you know, big weeds are hard to kill, and so you want to be uh, monitoring what's happening out in that field and catch the uh, any weeds out there uh, when they're small at two to three inches, and they're a lot easier to kill at that stage. And also, if, say if you planted a Roundup Ready alfalfa, you need to uh, go out there and spray uh, early before that first cut to get rid of uh, any plants that are not uh, uh, Roundup Ready. So, uh, also, you need to monitor for insects. Uh, don't let uh, insects surprise you and hurt that stand. When that stand's young, it doesn't take very many insects to really uh, kill some seedlings, and so. Get out there and monitor and make sure that you don't have a weed problem or an insect problem that's going to affect uh, the establishment of that new stand. How do we know, Don, exactly when to take that first cut? We hear about the bud stage, mid-bud stage. What's the what's the the answer? Well, I, I think on that, that first cut, uh, the timing is a little bit critical. I, we want to let those plants get fully established. And so don't cut early on that, uh, that first cut, uh, you know, Wait until it's starting to flower, and then, then after that, uh, the roots have uh, had a little bit more time to establish, and, and cut a little bit high. Uh, don't scout that first cut. Uh, you you know, want to make sure that that first uh, growth out there has some chance to establish. And as far as the second cut, I, I think you could cut that at 10th bloom. Uh, but if you do an uh, early cut, you have to harvest, uh, you know, that, that early cut, uh, Sometime during the season, you have to cut a little bit earlier than normal uh, just because of weather or, or you needed some forage uh, a little bit earlier. Uh, you need to let that uh, next cut uh, go a little bit longer to replenish the root uh, reserves because every time you cut alfalfa, that first uh, 8 to 10 inches of growth, uh, that's all being fueled by the root reserves. And then after it has about 10 inches of growth, then the plant starts to replenish uh, the root reserves with all the leaves and the photosynthesis that's going on. So. If you have to push it a little bit and cut a little bit early, uh, give it a little bit more time on the next cut to uh, replenish those root reserves. And, Don, with some of the new technologies out there, we have some opportunities that we didn't have before. Yeah, I think we've got some varieties now that uh, really uh, have some advantages that can give you an opportunity of getting higher quality than what you've ever had before, a better fiber digestibility. And so I think there's some varieties out there that you need to look at and uh, really get, could give you a profit advantage and a quality advantage as you move forward. And we always need an advantage, that's for sure. Thanks, Don. Our expert, Dr. Don Miller, with us once again, Director of Product Development with Alpharex.